Hi Earthlings! Today in our video, I am going to show you my survival kit guide, what I keep in mine and what I think you should keep in yours. We never know when disaster is going to strike, so I think it's best to be prepared. The world is changing and everything is um, maybe different tomorrow, so it's really important that you um, know what you might need and you have it ready. Before we start, my dad is going to come as a special guest in our video today. Hey guys, it's Reverend Olamina and I'm so honored to be part of yet another video. So our first up in our kit is a pot and a Tresu water bottle. These are really important for staying hydrated and storing and cleaning your water because water is very scarce and you never know when you're going to come by your next um, water station. So. I recommend a kind of a smaller pot so that it's easy to carry, um, but maybe a little bit bigger water bottle. Um, but water is also expensive, so you gotta make sure you have the next item too. So next up in our kit is money. Um, I know you might not have a lot, but um, money is really important for being out there because you never know what you're gonna need to buy. Um, and how you come across it is your own business but um i'm personally going to put um around a thousand dollars in my survival kit um but however much you bring depends on what you have access to so next up we have some seeds and um we chose seeds because they can be eaten when food is hard to come by but they can also be used to plant some trees and make sure that you have some fruit next up we have some matches and they can be used for lighting fires or keeping warm or um, making some light so i really recommend having a bunch of matches all right so this next tool may be a little bit more difficult to conceal um, but a hatchet is really important when you're trying to survive outside of your community. This can either be used as self-defense when necessary, um, you never know what's going to happen, but it can also be really helpful when you're just trying to survive. So um, the next few items are all kind of like a first aid kit. Um, so we have some rubbing alcohol to clean wounds, um, a bunch of different size band-aids, to um, like patch up any injuries that you might have and some aspirin because you can expect to be in a little bit of pain sometimes. So those are all really good for um, ensuring that you are prepared for anything that might come up. So next we have some, um, we have a comb, a, a toothpaste and toothbrush, a soap, toilet paper, and feminine products because um, it's really necessary that you keep good hygiene out there. So these are all just little things that will help you um, when you're outside of your community. The last item that we have is some kind of um, needle thread and pins and that's just in case that you need to do any um, last minute clothing repairs when you're out there. Hey Earthlings, thanks for watching our video. Um, I hope this helps in you making your own personalized survival guide. Everyone can make um, one that's suited to their needs and it doesn't have to be like mine, but um, I hope this helps you and um, encourages you to be a little bit more prepared for anything that might come.